as you can see, a lot of things pass through the wrist. Some of these go above, and some of them go below these two pivot points. And that tends to be done in opposition. So if it goes above here, it goes below there. Four through the center, four over the top here, four around the back there. So these four will power the fingers, and those tendons have to pass through the middle of the wrist to minimize the effect on that joint. And the wrist is held together by those screws like that. Those are M3, these are M4, not too tight frankly, it's metal against plastic, just don't want to fall into pieces. And then we do a quick tendon test, make sure the fingers are still moving freely. I'm occasionally getting that sticking. Not entirely sure why, actually. It's only the extremes of motion. So for now, <laughs> I can live with it, frankly. Otherwise, it's a very fast action. It's very loose. You just have to overcome strength of the elastic. And the thumb now is also starting to come together. I managed to fit the elastic to extend it into the body of the um, palm knuckle itself, just around a pin. In the back there, and then that center tendon does that, and the thumb also has that rotation which makes it fully opposable. So, just for tendons to finish connecting up, and then hopefully we'll start to see some fingers waggle under power.